Um, so I want to ask this mm -hmm. because there's a lot of agents that watch this video, especially newer agents. And so sure. they're always curious, like, man, you know, people get into the business thinking, oh, it's going to be a sipping martinis by the poolside or yeah. make a hundred thousand dollar commission check and then the reality of that doesn't necessarily happen sure at least for a majority of people yeah um what is that advice that you would give to new agents that you know they got their license they sign up with the brokerage and then what yeah what do you do and especially since you're going to be your own broker yeah. with your own brokerage um yeah no that's that's a great question i would say the first three years in this business, it's really crucial. Like you have to just pound the pavement, really. It's, it's, and I still do it to this day, door knocking, you know, getting out farming an area. I remember when Susan, like the first meeting that, that we had, she was like, I, I killed it as an agent because I just focused on a farm and made it happen. Right. So I think it's really, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. It's, it's, it's door knocking, it's prospecting, it's making sure everyone, you know, knows what you do mm. i think for a lot of people when they're new they're like i don't really want to let people know because i don't have experience but if you can say hey you know what i have john behind me i have susan behind me and they've closed x amount of deals right you have you then carry that confidence too so fast forward now i think people see i want to say us when we're closing deals and we can kind of do it in our sleep, right? Mm -hmm. to, to a certain degree. And I think everyone should be looking at like the five year goal of what, what does your life look like? And for me, it's, 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 I'm kind of in a, in a good season right now, I'll say where my kids are young, my wife, you know, my wife is able to stay at home and we go to Disneyland on a random Thursday, mm -hmm. we go on a trip to Cancun, you know, for a week and so forth. And that's what I think a lot of people see and want to get into this business but they don't see like all the sacrifice. They don't see hours of prospecting, hours of door knocking, all that. And they just want it now. It's like- They only see the highlight tell. reel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the 16 seconds Instagram post in the day when there's 24 hours. Yeah, that's a great point. And I think social media is really, um, it's been a, a blessing, but then also it could probably be a curse to some people because it, it really puts out that vibe of, mm -hmm. oh, this is easy or whatever, but and everybody wants to, to show off the trophies and the sure. cool cars and stuff like that, but they don't see the grind of it. But yeah. it sounds like you've been in the trenches making it happen. Yeah. And so you get those blessings now. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah. So it's hard work. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. yeah. There's no silver bullet. Yeah. I think it definitely is hard work. Um, I'm going through one of uh, Darren Hardy's courses right now. Mm -hmm. And he's, I love the way he puts it because. I think w the way he said it, like in the in the 80s, it was really just grind and get out there and hustle. And it's, you know, that can still provide a lot of success, but there is a sense of also, you know, just being and, and attracting, right? Like, yeah, I love Jim Rohn and he says to be, you know, to be attractive, you or to attract attractive people, you must be attractive yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Not saying looks wise, but how, how you I'm carry yourself, <laughs> how you carry yourself, <laughs> like the clients that I deal with, I think it's a big component. Like I, I want to work with people that are kind of in the same mindset, realistic, all that. I agree to that. That's, that's completely true. And, um, that's awesome, man.